I don't know what these colors are. Let's go to the box. Champagne slash coconut milk. Looks like there's a lot more colors going on there than champagne and coconut milk. The shoe itself is like an Easter egg hunt. What is the shoe? It's the Jordan 1 Low Easter Edition. Pastels. That's the word. Pastels. This is the shoe of pastel colors. Okay, cool. So, what are pastels? Ch wait, 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 wait. Charlie, hold on, hold on. You, you don't know what pastels are? Like, things you've told in the past? No. Okay. Pastels, man. And there it goes. And there we go. Welcome back to Kicks in the second half. We have an Easter special edition. Last year we did, what was it? The Kyrie's, the KD7s. One of these eggs should have the pair of Jordan 1s. Wait, how did they get this box in that Easter egg? <laughs> That's not working. Ooh, typical black box with the Jordan logo. I think I got it off Nike on a restock. I love the colors in person. This teal color here, some type of like green linen texture. Even the stitching has that teal color going in there that's right here on this side. Rose color type of pink, lighter pink here. Coconut milk is actually the laces and the Jordan logo on the tongue. And the swooshes are coconut milk. Champagne is obviously that rose color that I was talking about. But then you have these purple tones and I love like monochromatic looks. And that's what you have here on the toe box. Let's say this is gonna be lavender. This is gonna be purple. The texture on the back of the shoe, wings logo on the back. Is this like a cool gray on the bottom? Are these cool grays? The outsole? Tell me what you think that color is. Well, that lavender color right here on the midsole going around the shoe. I love pastel colors when it comes to mixing it together with this, just breaking it up. A shoe that usually has bolder colors, you know, like the bread toes or like the pine green, stuff like that. Those are definitely dope. But anytime you can throw in like a lighter color scheme in the shoe of the same type of model, I think that's cool. It breaks it up. It makes it very unique, makes this shoe stand out. This might not be something I'm gonna be wearing all the time, but definitely for the holiday season, it shows that you have a very precise way of dressing, not only just for the weekends, not only for specific days of the week, you have the holiday sneakers. And when we're talking about styling the sneaker, pick a color, pick any color. It's like a spin the wheel of pastels. It is a beautiful, beautiful Jordan 1. I think the laces for me, with it being kind of more of a neutral color, wearing like khakis for sure, you wanna keep it casual for Easter. Put in the comments, you know, if you celebrate Easter, I know everybody doesn't celebrate Easter and that's perfectly fine. In the past, when you were a kid, what did you prefer to get? Did you like finding money in your Easter eggs? Or did you like the candy and chocolate? Or did you like the Easter baskets. I like getting the candy as a kid, just cracking it open and seeing if I can find the, the mini cups. What do you want to call them? Morning. Mini Reese's. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I, I love those things, finding those in, in there. Go to Instagram, check me out there. You can see me wearing this shoe. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer for me to post it at KishYZ, K-I-S-H underscore Y-Z. Make sure you turn that notification bell on. If you are subscribed, feel free to share and pass along to other people who might be entertained by the sneakers or by me talking about the sneakers. So everybody, thank you again for kicking it in the second half. Peace and love.
super, super fresh. Happy Easter. Colors on this, it's like a, a bag of pastel Skittles. You know what I mean? No. Or you might not know what I mean. I don't know if, do they make those pastel Skittles? Let me ask you, what kind of Skittle is that? I think I cracked it open. No. 